Hello everyone, welcome back with another RSPS video and today we are on MyScape RSPS and this server actually is one of the most hyped servers right now. We're gonna be checking out together, I've literally just made the account for the first time. We're gonna be checking out the server, I've seen uh, videos and streams of other content creators, they had 300 plus online and everything, pretty pretty crazy. So first things first, we're gonna make the account, so as you can see here we have like uh, different game modes, so Ironman, Group Ironman, Ultimate Ironman, we're just gonna take the normal account I guess for the to play this you can also see the rates to drop rate boost i guess for this one and uh yeah so i can't create it let's go ahead and do this oh shit we actually got the uh, new player notification as well there are currently it's like 6 p.m in the uk let's see how many players we have online 370 people online are you crazy bro what do you mean dude number the numbers that custom servers are hitting right now is fucking crazy boys it's crazy how many people servers are getting these days especially custom servers make me very happy because i'm doing a lot of custom servers videos right now and uh dude it's just freaking insane first things first of course i'm gonna be hooking you up boys with a juicy big ass giveaway for two lucky winners 50 dollar bonds each so all you have to do is like the video comment your name down below be subscribed to my channel so 100 dollar in scrolls $50 each, two winners. Winners will be picked the next day, so make sure to like the video, comment your in-game name down below, and be subscribed to my channel to enter the giveaway. All right, first things first, let's have a look into the home. I'm gonna wear all the all the starter items we have as well. Okay, so we got the purplish theme, not too shabby. Over here, we got the bank. We have a lot of ores, so it's kind of like a homer slash skilling area. Okay, I can see a haunter Pokemon over there. Wait, we can attack it. Attack this squad? No, we can't, okay. Over here, I assume this is gonna be like an asking place. To get yourself some like off points, whatever. Uh, some thiefing stalls over here. So why do we have all these hunters, dude? That's actually pretty insane. So we have a Pokemon kind of theme as well in here. And over here we have a bunch of more home banks. And over there we can actually go to the challenge barrier. Okay. And if we go a little bit more south, we can find all the different, like even more scaling. So we can see a bunch of trees, even more freaking hunter Pokemon. And over here we have the Camelot portal, there is a Varric portal as well as a Falador portal, okay, very very mysterious, and I've just clicked on them, it says coming soon, so there's like a bunch of content that will be coming out very soonish, dead power shop, okay, that's a mini game. I, I know this before, so you teleport and you kill a bunch of NPCs, and you get like pirate points, which you can spend in the shop, for the dead pirate set, which you can purchase from here, so that's like a point mini game. pretty pretty neat, and over here we have a fishing spot, as well. Okay, so pretty big home area, not gonna lie. Obviously, with 370 people online, you need the space. Um, but it's quite clean. I like the theme with the squirt type of thing. And uh, yeah, not too shabby. Interface wise, let's have a look. Character summary. So over here, we can find all the different levels. Then we have this kind of price guide where we're gonna get redirected to the website. Okay, so this is like a kind of uh, the donator shop, I assume. If we click on that one over here, we have the Slayer Task information. And if we go on the bronze kind of like interface, we can see players in like 375. Like, I, bro, I, I don't get it. How is like this server's gonna pick it like four to 500 people online tonight? That's crazy, dude. It makes me very happy to see servers popping off this insanely. And uh, yeah, 371 people online, server time, events, so nothing too interesting to mention. And yeah, all about the interfaces right here. Oh, there's also an achievement diary which you guys can grind. Easy, medium, hard, and the daily ones. Daily ones are pretty cool because you can do that obviously every day to get yourself a bunch of lootations every day. They're normally pretty OP. So for example, voting helps out the server. Just do it, call and call and vote. It's quite easy, it takes you one minute, it helps the server out, you get some juicy rewards as well. And overall, just do it. I really have to find out what these Pokemons do though. Because uh, it says like you can attack them, but Loki, I can't attack them at the same time. It's actually weird but uh i like the just like freaking at the home and just running around so that's about the home area let's switch also the prayer books you never use the other ones on, on the custom server so let's go ahead and take these and it's time to have a look into the teleports let's click on this one for the interface as you can see here teleport interface right here boys so we got a bunch of monster teleports here i'm not gonna go too much in depth honestly um it's very straightforward any other custom server is the same so you click on the NPC, you have this beautiful uh, interface where you can see the best loot, you can see a little image of the NPC. So, um, quite a few. Oh shit, a Bowser NPC. Let's teleport to that one, have a look at that, because I love this model. And uh, let's go and slay one of these. Let's see if we can actually do any damage on them. Okay, they have 300 fucking thousand HP. I don't think we'll be able to slay them. Uh, but still, dude, the model and everything looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, obviously, you want to start from the first monster in the list. But yeah, time to die and get full HP. 
So what we want is this bomb beast minions. So that's where we're gonna start. Get you like get the starter items. As you can see, it's really straightforward. I love this about like custom service. It's very easy to understand. It's not too complicated. And yeah, you can like go through all the different zones. Okay, dude, look at that. New to Donkey Kong as well in here. Bandicoot, okay, Sonic and Knuckles, Sparrows as well. Sephirot and the Voldemort boss. Okay, so after you complete these bad boys, you will go to the next one, which is the bosses, obviously. Uh, you also have this option here, which is very, very convenient. So you can up, up to, I think, like eight or nine favorite teleports. Just click on the little heart and they will go into the right hand side. And then you can use these to quick teleport to the different places. And let's go straight into the bosses. So we start with Abandon. I've seen this a couple of times before. Link boss, Barthamite. So a couple of boys we actually know. Obviously, um... There's two. There's quite a few actually. Uh, Mandra Ochin. I've seen this as well. I'm not sure which though, but I've seen it before. Assassin boss right here. And again, you can see all the different loot the boss is dropping on this beautiful interface. I like the fact that it's moving around as well. Blood World, Deadbone Guardian, a Samurai boss as well. Uh, there is a Thanos boss as well. Damn, Thanos as well coming in. Beautiful with a bunch of different stones. All these custom items obviously have an effect that you can use in the game, but you just need to get familiar with that when you play the game. Kingstorm, a breaker, pretty nice. Barrel chest, and then there's a bunch of normal ones. Chaos Elemental, wow, dude, that looks really cool, dude. Let's have a look into this one. It's very packed, so it seems like a lot of people like to camp this bad boy. But look at this model, bro. I've never seen this before. This is so clean, dude. It's not looking laggy or buggy at all. It just looks so freaking clean. And look at all these sparkles on it, dude. That is freaking insane. Custom Chaos Elemental Boss on my scape. Next on the list, there is the Diva Beast. Oh my, it has the same sparkles as the Chaos Elemental. That is pretty, pretty insane. Let's have a look at this one. I like the glowing on it. It looks so freaking good, dude. Obviously, this is like the Ohm model, but the, the way they've actually recolored them is pretty crazy, dude. Damn, that is nice. All right, next on the list, there's the Blast God, the Rose Eater. I've seen this one as well before. Eternal Dragon, it's a rat one. Beautiful. Oh, there's three different ones of them. That's a pretty good one. So that's like the final ones on the list. So you start with the melee one. Obviously not start, but the, whatever you prefer. So you go with the range version, which is dropping the Eternal Shard piece three and the piece two, which is the magic one. So these three bad boys are on the list at the bottom mini games wise there is a progression island this is where you want to start again this is the bombs we've seen before the pirate zone the mini game i've showed you at the beginning you kill them in order to get yourself the points as well as the heart of the sea Arfking spot there's a cosmetic zone and also the deadly raid quite sure there will be more custom raid being added throughout the time but for the beginning there's a deadly raid Global bosses, there is the demonic mystery box. Undead dragon, look at these sparkles again. Beautiful. Infinito boss, the Beelzego. I've never seen this one before. It's probably not going to be spawned, but I would I would love to see this one. But uh, yeah, it's unfortunately, it is not spawned. That's quite unfortunate. Icy Virago as well. Again, with these sparkles on it, it looks very, very sexy to me. Not going to lie. Let's go a little bit ahead and have a look on it. Oh, it's a global boss as well, so it's not spawned, unfortunately. But then we have the Ultra Boss. This is like end game content, boys. Where you go for the Joker, we've seen this model before, but again, it's a pretty nice model. It's dropping the Joker pieces, as well as a Rocket Launcher. Darth Raider for the Mage Sat, so you guys can grind this bad boy. Cloud Shrine for the Melee Sat. And then we have uh, three more Ultra Bosses, which are even better, which is the Sora Boss for the Melee Sun, the Mysterio for the Range Sun, and finally the White Beard for the Mage One. I've seen this one before as well, and this is pretty much the very, very late game content you guys want to grind on my escape. So this one's already here. Dude, someone's already grinding them. How is that even possible, bro? That's crazy. The requirements for them are going to be quite hard to get. So very grindy, but people have been grinding non-stop, as you can see. Obviously, 370 people online, they have a couple of very, very big time grinders. And uh, yeah, pretty nice to see. The server is brand, brand new, boys. Couple of days old. And if you want to give it a try, the links are going to be in the description, of course. MyScape currently has 370 people online. I'm quite sure tonight when this video will be released, we're going to have 400 to 500 people online. It's probably 
the biggest custom server out right now. I did not expect this at all. Uh, Bennett, the uh, media manager on the server, is a friend of mine. And he actually said, bro, it's crazy what's going on in the server. You definitely make you need to do, do a server too. And here we are, boys. If you want to give this very, very, very hype server with so many people online a try, the links are in the description, boys. Please do not forget to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. And of course, be subscribed to my channel. To enter the giveaway, we're giving away two $50 bonds. And yeah, by the way, it's my birthday today. So if you're free to write something like happy birthday down in the description as well, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, that's going to be for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. And